as a content creator, we need speed and we need to stay organized. And a lot of the times we aren't. So I want to share some apps with you. And these apps absolutely speed up my workflow and helps me through my day-to-day -day process. My name is Martin Dos, producer and DJ. And I'm gonna share a few applications with you. Now, the first app I wanna share with you goes by the name of App Cleaner. As a Mac user, it's, it's different than Windows when you want to uninstall an application. It can become a nightmare, nightmare, crazy. Now, this app is free and um, once you drag the application you want to delete it finds all the additional um, you know things left around and removes it from your computer this application saves you a lot of time app cleaner once you drop it into app cleaner it searches and it finds everything from here that needs to be deleted if you're anything like me, everything I do, screenshots, I'm just in a rush sometimes, songs, tracks, sometimes it gets hectic. And a lot of the times, stuff gets placed on the desktop. That's just how it is. That's how it works. Now, this application is called Hidden Me. What it does, it just hides it. It doesn't remove it, but it just hides it from your desktop. So if you just don't want to see that crowded desktop, you go into Hidden Me and you know you click your application and you click hide and it gets the job done all right desktop will clean like a computer just done by you see it so listen time is money now this application simple countdown hey it's a best friend all right so you just go like this so you just go to the application you open simple countdown and it's right here and you know you set your time you want two hours you set your time press enter and hit there start and it starts to count down now um after the two hours is finished it's gonna alarm it's gonna you know it's gonna up and shake your screen it's gonna alarm and shake the screen very useful application recommended every time now this application goes by the name of alfred okay it's pretty similar to spotlight it's like spotlight on steroids. Now the shortcut for Alfred is option and uh, spacebar. So once you type in Alfred, you can search. You can search anything on your computer. You can search for an application. Let's say Ableton. Yes, I like to search for Ableton. And once you click enter, it opens that application. But it gets even nicer than that. You can go. Let's say you want to go to YouTube. So you go YouTube.com. And let's say squash. Let's say artist squash. And then you hit enter. And it goes on YouTube and then it finds it. You know what I mean? So with Alfred, you can go more in depth. Now, there's a free version and there's also a paid version. Okay. The free version gets the job done. I would recommend you get the paid one because it has a lot more features, um, a ton more, a lot more features. Another application is Drop Zone. Drop Zone, you click right here. Once you, um, you know, you, you can add anything in drop zone. Let's say you want to add an image. You drag it up to the drop zone and you, you, you put it right there. So the image is inside your drop zone. So this is very useful. You're on your computer. You find some image that you want to send um, to ear, you know, want to eardrop or you want to go to a certain website to shorten the URL. Drop zone works wonders. Okay, so make sure you have this app on your computer. It saves a lot of time, okay? Now, one of the most important apps on my computer, it's, it's, it's a small app, but I love it. It's an app called Copy Clip. Now, what Copy Clip does, anything that you copied, let's say you copied a text, it gives you like uh, 10 slots and you have a history of stuff you copied. So let's say um, you're, you're sharing some, some, some Facebook links and you know, you accidentally copied something wrong. You can go back in your history and automatically just select the one that you want to recopy. That's it. So copy clip is very useful. Um, and I just want to note that in Alfred, the paid version, right? If you have the paid version, there's also a history there um, for anything that you copy in Alfred. So if you have Alfred and you paid for it, you don't need to get copy clip. So there you go. Let me know what you think down in the comments. I want to know what apps you use in your day-to-day -day process creating content. Drop a comment and let us know your apps, your favorite apps. It was a pleasure dropping some gems for you. Until next time, make sure you like and subscribe the video. 
All right. Catch you next time. DJ Martin does. I'm out.